I'm getting friends. And if you were sitting in the emergency room in Clarence, some of you know me, some of you don't. My camera lady today is Mel Plain, paramedic, PA, and camera person today. We're just going to do a quick small video on how to appropriately put your mask on and off and also how to decontaminate your mask. Current information from CDC as well as other agencies have shown that the current method of cleaning the mask with UV lights and other things are not working well. They're actually contributing to the breakdown of the masks. What they are currently recommending is that you just give a 48 hour wait time in a paper bag between mask use. So that is what Iowa Specialty Hospital Systems will be going to. Okay, so we'll go over putting on masks first. Now some of you may get six bags of masks and some of you may get three bags of masks. Those people who will be doing processes where they'll be exposed to uh, secretions from people, while they're swabbing or intubating or other things, they will get N95s. So you will get three N95s. If you don't already have them, speak to your leader. They will be getting you three N95s. Everybody should have three regular face masks. So these are your regular face masks. So some of you may have six bags and some of you may have three bags. We'll go over the, why the three and three in a few minutes. So we're putting on masks. The most important thing you can do is hand sanitize or wash well. Make sure when you put hand sanitizer on that you rub your hands till they're dry. You're going to want to put clean gloves on. Now you can see right here we have our little paper towel laid out with our mask. Now I've labeled my mask dirty and clean. Okay, so here's the clean side. That's the side that's going to go against my face. The dirty side is the outside. So when we pick our masks up, it should be laying dirty side down. Pick our mask up and we pick them up by the loops. Loops in our hands like this. Be careful to not touch the outside of the mask to your face. It is dirty. Loops around your ear. Pull this up. This part here, make sure it is up and it is against your nasal bridge about where you would wear your glasses. Pull the chin piece down so it is not your face getting covered. To appropriately take this mask off, do it again. Wash your hands or use hand sanitizer. Put on clean gloves. And remember, the outside of this mask is dirty. You do not want to take it off with your bare hands. Grab the loops behind your ears. Pull out and pull the mask away from your face carefully to not touch your face with the dirty side. Lay the mask on the paper towel, dirty side down, clean side up. Make sure your loops do not fall inside the mask because your loops are dirty. Okay, appropriate way for regular masks. For N95s, loops right here because they're in paper bags. Reach in, clean gloved hand. Oh, clean gloves between these. Just for the sake of making sure we're understanding that every time we touch our masks on or off our face that we have clean gloves on. Reach in the bag, being careful to touch only the outside of your mask. You do not want to touch the inside of your mask, the part that goes against your face. Proper way to do this is put your mask in the palm of your hand. Dirty side is what you should be touching. Very carefully take the mask and put it up against your face. You're going to take your bottom loop and you're going to pull it up over your head and then the top loop. We're going to make sure that this is nice and tight. Do a quick check. Put your hands over your mask, breathe in. If the mask kind of collapses down against your face, you have a good seal. Okay. Same with taking the mask off. You're going to put clean gloves on. You're going to grab the outside of the mask. You're going to take the bottom loop off.
and then the fa. Being very careful to not touch the inside of the mask. You're then going to put that mask in the paper bag. So, the three bags. I wore this bag on Monday, and I'm going to put Monday, May 29th, or whatever the day is on there. That way I know what day and time that I wore it last. So then when I come to work Tuesday, I can get a new mask out. It's clean, and I can use it. Same process. Wednesday I come to work, I have a third mask. Same process. Thursday, when I come to work, I can now go back and use mask number one because it is now clean because it is sat and aired for at least that 48 hours. That process is the same whether it's the N95s or the regular face masks. And there we have it. Proper way to put masks on, proper way to take, take them off, and proper way to allow your mask to decontaminate for that 48 hours. Again, if you do not have three masks, at least of each kind, then you need to speak with your leaders. Thank you.